In this video, I will install IBM DP2 Express Server C in Windows 7. So let's go to the IBM website, go to the Express C website. Let's open this website. So it's IBM software, they download Express C. So DP2 Express C is the free, free version, community version. Uh, enterprise version you have to pay, but this is the DB2 Express is for free, free to develop, free to deploy, free to dispute, dispute. So uh, let's go to this Express C for Windows 64 bit. So when you go to this one, it requires the IBM ID. It's very easy. You can register uh, IBM ID for free. Of course, you can proceed without an IBM ID, but you still need to fill the form. So if you, uh, you prefer to register for IBM ID, uh, very easy to register. For example, now I put my IBM ID here. Now I log in as my IBM ID, and I check email, check I agree, and click I confirm. Then you can see, check this one, TP2 Express C. This executable file, 486 megabyte to download and click download now. And let's uh, message let's uh, download in the download director. So I put in the C user gen and download director directory. Click OK. Click OK. Install and download in my director. Then start. So now I download finish the file is this download director here. So we just create this one executable file. Oh yes, launch this executable. So it will show the unzip directory. So I browse this one. I don't want to put a temp. I also want to put a download directory. So I create this change the download directory here. And I unzip this. You can see here, unzip. You can see here, finish when done, unzip open expc this directory and set up exe, run set up exe. Okay, now unzip successfully. Now I go to expc directory and run set up the exe. So this is a welcome page. So we directly go to install a product. This is uh, just less CPU memory compared to enterprise. For TP2 uh, Express C, we just install new. Prepare to install. Then after this, you just click continue. Continue information. Then next one you say I accept release information or information and said I accept return. I can return. Click next. And just typical click next. And this one you just choose the default. Next. Database location is okay, we just use default. This space I have enough. Next. Default location and auto star server is OK. Next. So it's DP2 admin. I type my password. So I type my password. This is username password. Next. Use the default is next con default configuration. So list all the information here and click finish. Done. This installation is take a while. It's installation here now. Okay, now setup is finished. complete. Click finish. This one says so welcome. Check what for the update etc. database. Now you can click start menu, all program, 
have a DPP copy, you can see so many features, configuration, 